in this segment we'll discuss about decoder trace to it and how to write its code using case study and in the previous video we were discussed about what do we mean by encoder and we have written a VHDL code for encoder also let us come across defining decoder decoder is basically logic circuit or a combinational circuit that converts an n bit binary code into output lines now out of these output lines only one will be activated at any instant of time that means it is simply decodes the information and present it that's why it is called as a decoder and a decoder with this combination is considered so we will have three input terms maybe a0 a1 a2 and there will be eight output lines like y0 y1 and up to y7 so it is also known as 3 to 8 decoder or it is also known as binary to octal decoder because it is simply converting binary information into eight signals now coming back to its two table representations we will have three input lines a2 a1 a0 and a seven output line combination like this so as per the definition decoder is any circuit which decodes the information and out of the given output lines one will be high at any instant of time so the, the first term is considered where we have the information as 0, 0, 0. It simply indicates that a D0 line will be activated and other lines will be deactivated. Similarly, for the next combination, D1 is going to be high. For 0, 1, 0, D2 is going to be high. And subsequently, it lasts when the combination is 1, 1, 1, D7 is going to be 1 or it is activated. That means at any instant of time, either of the output will be activated. Now, based on these conditions, we will try to write its VHDL code. Let us start with defining the library element as IEEE. We are going to use IEEE with its standard package. Dot all indicates its all functions are going to be used. Now, we will write the entity as decoder is and its port as A, which is an input standard logic vector having length 2 down to 0 and output as 7 down to 0, probably. <laughs> We will end the entity. Now we will come across writing architecture style. Architecture, the style of modeling is behavioral of decoder is. We will initialize it and we will write the process. In case of process, we have the input as A. So we return the statement as process A. And let's initialize the process. And now we will go for case statement. So here the case A is. That means for all combinations of A, the output is going to be selected. First combination is when A is 0, 0, 0. So we know that. A0 is going to be 1 and other lines are going to be 0. So we we'll get D0 as 1 and other lines are 0. When 0, 0, 1, here it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. That means D1 is connected to 1. When 1, 0, 1, D2 line is activated, other lines are deactivated. When 0, 1, 1, D3 is going to be activated. When 1, 0, 0, D4 is going to be activated. When 1, 0, 1, D5 line you can see it here, this line is connected to 1. When 1, 1, 0, D6 is connected to 1. And when the last combination occurs, when 1, 1, 1, D7 is connected to high and others are connected to low. Now, if none of the condition is satisfied, we will write the last. When others, output is going to be undefined. So, this is how one can write a VHDL code for the given decoder circuit. Finally, we will end the case statement. We'll end the process and we'll end the architecture. I hope you understood this concept. Thank you very much.